What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the GOAT. We got ourselves a Cramorant team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to my boy Cramo over here, it's got a dope ability of GOAT Missile, which actually triggers whenever you use like Surf, Dive, or like other water moves. Not all water moves. I don't know the exact moves, but I know it triggers with Surf. So whenever you use Surf, you actually get a fish in your mouth, you actually have a chance of getting Pikachu, and then if somebody hits you, you spit it back out and deal some damage to your opponent. So, dope ability, cool ability, cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Cramorant is rocking the Focus Sash as item, it is a flying and water type Pokemon with the Stellar Terror type, and then it's got Surf, Air Slash, Tailwind for Speed Control, and Protect. Another dope off-meta Pokemon that we're using today is going to be Toadscrew. Now, Toadscrew has this weird ability that makes any status move go last, so we're pairing it up with neutralizing gas wheezing to make status moves go not first but so it can outspeed because it's a fast pokemon with spore and its ability kind of holds it back so if we just take away its ability with wheezing it really can actually shine so this has got the life orb it's a ground and grass type with earth power energy ball spore and protect like i already mentioned we got wheezing but this wheezing is kind of different from most it's got the choice specs it's got dazzling gleam strange stream and then sludge bomb and flamethrower can actually do damage and then our final three pokemon more on the meta side with Archaludon, Mousehold, and Annihilate. You guys already know what those Pokemon do. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Cramorant in ranked regulation H. First match on its way, and it's time to use Cramorant. My boy Cramorant. Love that name. Gonna be saying it a lot that way. But they got Titar, they got Dancer Oricorio, who has been seeing. A lot on the regulation each ladder. Then they got who is that? Volcarona, Archaludon, and Wimscott and Smeargle. So honestly, to kind of deal with that Volcarona and Dancer Oricorio, I think going in with Choice Specs, Glare, and Weezing could really just get after it. And I do like that. I could also go in with Archaludon, but I kind of want stamina, or it doesn't even have stamina, it has 30. Maybe going in with both of these. It's just to play. I'm so with it. I'm so with that. Could lead Cramorant and try to get some speed going. But I really like both of these guys. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. I'm going to end up going into Cramorant. And last but not least, we could just go like Annihilate here. Just late game Annihilate by itself. Really works well. Or I could go in with you. Yeah. Okay, special attack. Your speed's high. Hmm. I was going to say Earth Power would be nice. I think we're just going to stick with Annihilate. Annihilate's really good. Just such a good Pokemon all around. They got Titar, they got Archaludon. As long as that Archaludon doesn't stamina boost too much, I think we should be fine. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. Depends who they lead. Depends who they lead. But we're going in. Nice little Archaludon and Galarian Weezing lead. And they're going to end up leading Smeargle and Whimsicott. So they could fake me out. They don't have abilities, which is really good news. Um... Hmm. So no Moody, no Prankster on the field. And I could choice into whatever I want. Probably Sludge Bomb is our best bet, right? You know, or Poison Fairy. Could go into a Fairy move, but yeah, we're going to rip a Sludge Bomb. So I'm going to Sludge Bomb here. I'm going to try to go for an Electro Shot if I can and just rip into the Smeargle. But he's faking out somebody. And I would honestly think it'd be Weezing instead of instead of Archaludon just because they probably think we have Sturdy. And now you're just going to spore me. Like, like okay. That's fine. So Spore's just flying out here. We're gonna focus ash this smear up probably. That thing's gonna drop a tailwind. So if I had to guess, most likely this smear is just going to spore my arch on next turn. So I probably just want to protect it up. But we'll, we'll we'll deal with it when that comes. We're dropping a nice little power herb electro shot right now. Just get that special attack boost. Get get arch on rolling. Um, I'm hoping this thing's not focus ash, but it probably is, right? No, you're not. That is, that's great news. That's okay news, actually. That's okay news. But, we get rid of you. They got a Tailwind up on the field. Um, Weezing going to be asleep for his first turn. And who you got cooking out here? So, you got got on the field, and now you got Volcarona. So, no ability still. That's really good news. Um, I could try to launch a Sludge Bomb, and I am going to. And I think I just protect and start wasting out some turns, because what are you really going to do, Volcarona? You could set up a Quiver Dance. That could be your play. That could get annoying real fast. I just Thunderbolt that, or I could launch a Dragon Pulse into it. 
Yeah, I'm cool with dropping Dragon Pulse this turn. I just don't want it to set up a Quiver Dance and really just, like, take control of this match. So while we're plus one on Special Attack, we can do this. And he's going to Encore us into an Electro Shot. All right, I mean, it could be worse. Could be worse. And yeah, there's the Quiver Dance I was worried about. The Quiver Dance comes out. Weezin, can you wake up here? Be a nice little... Nice little wake up here would be awesome. Unless your shot's gonna charge up. So, no rain. We're encored into this. Takes two turns. Luckily, at least we get a special attack boost with this. And Weezing, of course, still slumped. So Weezing slumped up, or Corio is just kinda probably chilling in the back end while Volcarona is beefing up with Quiver Dance here. So I'm gonna keep trying to throw a sludge bomb just so when Tailwind ends, they can't really reset it. And they're gonna end up withdrawing. So they end up withdrawing when Scott. You guys, is this gonna be the Oracorio? Luckily, no abilities are here, which is great news. And it is gonna be the Birdie. The Birdie Bird. And they're just gonna protect Volcarona. So I guess this is their play. I guess this is just their play. So good protect on their end. Weezing, time to wake up. There you go. There you go. Open up the Mize. So that's probably gonna launch. Gonna do respectable damage with the choice specs. Um, and we'll just launch another Sludge Bomb. How many turns left in the Encore? One. Might as well go for an Electro Shot. They're gonna Terrasalize you. So honestly, I think just sending this Electro Shot back into the Volcarona is definitely the play. So there's a little bit of a Protect action. We're gonna start charging an Electro Shot. And he's gonna Quiver Dance up again. Alright, that's fine. We're about to be plus three on Special Attack. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. So luckily, no abilities. Weezing's actually doing a lot of work here. And they haven't taken out a Pokemon yet. They haven't taken out anybody yet. But I get to charge that up. Not a bad turn. Sludge Bomb's gonna get blocked. And I'm just gonna keep spamming Sludge Bomb in that slot. I mean, the damage is okay. I mean, it's not very effective. But still, again, it did, it did good damage. It did good damage. So Tailwind's finally gone. We now go Sludge Bomb and Electro Shot into Volcarona. And the thing about Sludge Bomb is it has a chance of poisoning. So if I, if I can pull off a poison... That'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. What you got for me? They still have Terror Type. We still have Terror Type as well. And the good part about this is, like, Oricorio is not getting the Dancer Boost as well. That's, like, the best part of this whole thing. So I wonder if we're going to Terrasalize Volcarona, because a lot of Volcarona's do rock grass Terror Type. And I was just going to rip a Fiery Dance, which honestly probably KOs us. Yeah. It KOs us. And he's going to go for a Revelation Dance here. A little bit of dancing. That does respectable damage. Damage is big. We're going to drop this all day. Give me a Poison. No, no Poison. And I could just bring out the Kramer Rant and just pop a Tailwind. The Kramo Tailwind's probably the play. Yeah, I'm cool with the Kramo Tailwind up. I'm going to Sludge Bomb here. Actually, I could just... No, I'm a choice. Yeah. So I'm going to go Sludge Bomb. I do have Terra if I want to use it in the Stellar, but I'm going to save that because I'm going to Tailwind first. And then we're going to rip up into it. So Fiery Dance going to launch into... Is that Weezing? That's cool with me. So Weezing finally drops out. Abilities are back going. And Neutralizer Gas is going. And Tailwind flies for us. So Cramorant gets off the Tailwind. I'm hoping Cramorant is faster than this Volcarona, because that could be really nice. And Revelation Dance is going to fly. We have Focus Ash. More importantly, we still have Annihilate. So you get a crit. Of course you get a crit. And now Annihilate can fly out here. So Annihilate on the field, which is a gorgeous sight to see. So Annihilate here. Um, could honestly just protect and go for, you know, a Surf. Which wouldn't be a bad play. Um, hmm. Problem is, does Volcarona outspeed my Kramer Rant? 150 in Tailwind compared to plus two, you might outspeed me. I'm just gonna go for Rage Fist there, and I'm gonna go for an Air Slash into Volcarona. Curious to see if we outspeed. I'm gonna end up withdrawing here. Okay, so Rage Fist is gonna do minimal damage. Looking just to set up a Tailwind, they probably protect the Volcarona. Is that the right call? They're gonna protect the Volcarona. They do. They do. So we get off a free shot here. They are going to set up Tailwind again. Um, and they're just going to look to KO my Cramorant. So I might have to just protect Cramorant this turn. Not a bad match. Long match, though. 
Rage Fist flying. Not doing too much damage. Haven't been touched yet. And I still have the Grass Terror. Do I want to send the Grass Terror? Not really. I think I'd rather just start Rage Fisting down. Because we, we already know he's popping a... Uh, we already know he's popping a Tailwind. We already know Tailwind's flying. And we already know Volcarona is probably attacking Kramer right here. There's no way he's just throwing a Moon Blast. There's just no way. So I'll look to Terrasilize next turn. I gotta really just start chucking up some damage into this Volcarona slot. This thing's bulking. It's bulking. So protect from my Cramo bird. And there's the Tailwind. So we knew Tailwind was happening. Chance our Volcarona is probably dropping a Fiery Dance into Kramer right here. Yeah. So good call on arm. We got off a free Rage Fist for a little bit more chip damage onto him. And here's where we land into a problem. Because our Tailwind, I think, ends this turn. And now they're faster than us again. It's getting real ugly. Actually, we got one more turn. I could end up using a Terra, but I mean... He's gonna Moon Blast me. He's gonna Moon Blast and Fiery Dance. Um... This is a brutal position to be in. This is a real brutal position. I gotta go after this Whimscott here. I gotta take a Moon Blast, I guess. And if we can't get off an Air Slash, I don't think we can. Oh, hold up. Give me a second. You taking out Cramo? Who are you going after? You're gonna Encore Cramo. Really? Is that that's what we're doing? We're just gonna Encore Cramo? In the Protect? And I landed Double Protect. <laughs> Really, we're just Encore and Cramo here? We're just Encore and Cramo? Alright, that's cool. So they're wasting out the last turn of Tailwind. That's really what they wanted to do. And now they can sit here and just Moon Blast me. What's the chance I land a Triple Protect? What's the chance I, learned, I, I land a Triple Protect? I'm just gonna send it over there. I can only Protect. This is brutal. Encore. Always such a good move. It really is. End up withdrawing Whimsicott. I'm gonna go into Oracorio. Maybe I get a crit here with my Rage Fist. You gotta be taking out Cram out here, right? With Fiery Dance. Oh, that would've been sick if we landed Triple Protect. That's how I wish the Protect would've, would've failed last turn. But it doesn't. But they're leaving Cramo on the field, which is good news. The Cramo's on the field for a little bit. And I like taking a huge chunk of damage here. Special Attack and a boost. And Dancer's gonna come out here. And this thing's just gonna double down. Is that gonna be game? He taking him out. I survive. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Hold up. Just give me a chance. Really? 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 <laughs> All I wanted was a chance. I think we lose this battle regardless if we pick up the KO or not. But really? One HP and then Flame Body and then a Barry. Just what I needed. So that's going to be game. I got no first turn priority moves. They're going to outspeed us. GG to our opponent. We almost pulled that one off. Almost pulled that one off. Once our wheezing went out, it was like, oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. So I'm just going to run this one. Again, GG's. We start off 0-1. Moving on to our second match. Wish we would have won that first one, but we're looking to bounce back with my boy Cramorant in match number two. We're going up against a Sneezer squad with Aloha Nine Tails. We have no weather control. We actually can semi-control the weather with neutralizing gas wheezing, but we can't change the weather. So if they get it off, they're going to have it for the rest of the match. They also have Ursula. They got Storm Drain Gaston. Armor Rouge, and last but not least, they have Whimsicott. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of like going into maybe like Weezing here. It looks like Cramorant. Maybe try and just like set up a Tailwind and get things going. I think that's not a bad point for us. So I'm gonna end up going into both of them. Um, I think Archaludon could be solid beside... Mm, they got two Ground-type Pokemon. And a close combat. You know what? Archaludon's actually not that good now that I look at, look at it. Um, I like Annihilate here. And last but not least, we could go in with... This guy right here. I could honestly lead him. Let me throw some spores around if I want to. A few different options. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to lead the Toad Scroll. And then we'll bring Annihilate and Cramo for late game. I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm about it. It's about time to grab ourselves a win here. It's about time. So I wonder who they're going to lead, though. I feel like they got a few different options, but taking away the abilities really works well for us because, I mean, they won't have Storm Drain if that's on the field, but, I mean, I'm not too worried about Storm Drain. I'm more worried about that Ursa Luna and the, uh, what's the other Pokemon? The good ability. I can't even think of it now. Wimscott. They got Wimscott. 
with Prankster. I mean, I could just take that away. And Armour's and Wimscott can come out here. So they don't have Prankster. They probably still outspeed, but... I mean, I could put Armour's to sleep, no problem, here if I want to. Unless it's Grass Terra, which it easily could be. It easily could be Grass Terra. So, I mean, for right now, I'm just going to actually choose in a Sludge Bomb. And send a Sludge Bomb over. And you could go Grass Terra. I'm just going to protect here. I should protect Toad School. Let's just protect it. Yeah, this, this, is what I, this is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. Nice little grass tire popping out from him. Yeah, all day. It's light work. It's an easy read. Oh, it's stellar. It's a stellar terror. All right, I see you. I understand. I understand. So I could just put that thing to sleep. I wonder if they pop a tailwind. I could just put this bad boy to sleep. Would have been real nice. Would have been real nice. So now they get off the tailwind. Oh, no. Wheezing, no. Luckily, you go for Heat Wave. All right, so Heat Wave flies. Um, how much damage is doing to Weezing? Respectable. That's respectable. So that's why I'm gonna fly here and KO the Wimscott. So Wimscott kind of did its job already, which really sucks. Um, I do have Ghost Terror, so I could Ghost Terror and maybe put somebody to sleep. But right now, no abilities on the field. They're gonna go into Ursula. Ursula is scary. Who who would I rather put to sleep? In? I think I'd rather put the sleep to Ursaluna. The Ursaluna's looking terrifying. I can't get off a sludge bomb. I'd rather send it on over on the arm rouge. But I'm going to try to spore somebody. <clears throat> which I'd rather it be Ursaluna. The thing is, Heat Wave's going to be super effective into me. So, that's my whole problem. I'm going to Terrasalize and try to spore Ursaluna. Let's do it. Let's do it. So trying to put this bad boy to sleep. Chances are we are losing our Galarian Weezing. If I could get off one Sludge Bomb, that'd be nice. Just do decent damage to this thing. But I think getting off a Spore is a big part of this, this matchup here. Let's see. So Blood Moon's going to fly. Does not affect Toad Scroll. Good thing he doesn't have uh, Mind's Eye anymore, which is great. And Toad Scroll going to be able to put this thing to sleep. That is huge. That is huge. So no ability saves our Toad Scroll. Neutralizing gas is gone, but I'm still able to spore. So get off the nice lovely spore. That's big time for us. And Ursaluna is slumped. I could just go into like Kramer right here and protect and surf. That's not a bad play. Right, I got focus ash. So protect surf is simple play, can do effective damage. I like it. Kramer ramp, baby. Get it out of here. I could tailwind first. Now would be a turn to tailwind. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna tailwind. And if I can, I think I'd rather throw an energy ball and start chipping up damage here. Yeah. And then I'll protect Surf. I like it. I like it a lot because Tailwind's just so massive. Especially with the Pokemon that we have who are kind of faster. Zarmaru, there's a chance he protects. He's going to end up withdrawing Ursula. He's going to show his final Pokemon. So Ursula hasn't been asleep for a turn yet, which is good. And Ninetales is going to fly out here. So they get out the Ninetales. No big deal. And Snow Warning sets. Snow, snow warnings here. Expanded force going to launch, and he taken out. I'm gonna go after my Cramer. I don't mind that. I got Sash. I'm focus sashing. I'm not even using the focus sash. Energy ball launches. I'm gonna do about negative six into this slot. Actually, did it a little bit more than I thought. We get a special defense drop, which is rather big. Rather big. Tailwind comes out from Cramo. We're ready to roll. We are ready to roll. So Tailwind for Tailwind. They're probably gonna try to pull off a War Bell here. 150 speed. 165. And how many turns are left in their tailwind? This is a real question. One. I'm gonna go for a surf and just protect. Hmm. Could actually just attack you. I'm gonna double down to armors here. Good call, man. I don't mind surfing. I do not mind surfing into my own toad scroll here. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Armor's gone. Coach Cruel survived. I got a Pikachu in my mouth. RNG on my side. And what do you pop in? A Roar Bell? Most likely. You get off the Veil. Yep, a Roar Bell comes out. Okay, so Roar Bell's here. Their Tailwind ends. Um, Ursaluna's the last Pokemon on the field. So Ursaluna... It's still, it's still asleep, which is really good news for us. It's still asleep. It's still asleep, which is great news for us. 
I think our plan should be just to air slash you down. We're just gonna double down into in the nine tails here. We're gonna double down nine tails. We gotta make sure this Pokemon like, dies out. Okay, it dies out to that. Right, that's fair. I was gonna say we have to make sure nine tails dies out. So Ursaluna is guaranteed to be asleep this turn, which is really good on our end. Air slash gonna fly here. Got his Pikachu in its mouth. <laughs> And that's the first turn of sleep for Ursaluna. So Crammer and Toad Scroll making up for match number one in this one. Uh, I could rip a Surf, but I don't want to hit my Toad Scroll. I'd rather just launch an Energy Ball and an Air Slash. And Chance already wants to go for a Hyper Voice. And you really wake up here. You really wake up here. Luckily, we just still outspeed. We should have one turn left in day one, or is that it? I think we outspeed regardless, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Protect coming out here. He wants to go for a Hyper Voice. We already know that. We already know he wants to go for a Hyper Voice. Um, they'll go for a Surf here. The thing is, I could honestly go for a Surf as it would do more damage. Because, if you think about it, Toad is going to go first. I could send an Energy Ball his way. Energy Ball could do respectable damage. And then, I mean, he's going to take us out with Hyper Voice regardless. So, we might as well send a Surf, right? We might as well do as much damage as we can. So, I'm going to go Surf. I'm going to go Energy Ball here. And we're looking to do as much damage as we can. So Earth Power, we're going to fly. Or not Earth Power. Energy Ball. And that did plenty enough damage due to War Bell. And Cramorant's going to clean up this game. Surf flying. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. We KO'd our Toad Scroll in the process. But Cramorant picking up the final KO. GG to our opponent. We're sitting 1-1. One one. So guys, we're sitting 1-1 one one with my boy Cramorant. Cramorant went crazy in the last match. Love this Pokemon so much. It looks ridiculous, but... It's awesome. It is definitely an awesome Pokemon. Hopping into our third and final match. Going up against Charizard with Kilowatchel, Arm Rouge yet again, and then Illumise with Ursaluna and Indeedee. So they could pop Trick Room. They got Prankster on Illumise. They got a lot of different options here. They got Kilowatchel, who's a fast special attacker. Same thing with Charizard, fast special attacker. How do I want to play this one? Um, For the lead, I mean, they can easily go into Indeedee and Arm Rouge. That gets scary real quick. So I might just want to go back into like these two with the Weezing and... And what's it called? The Weezing and... I can't even think of the same. Toad Scroll is not bad. Hmm. I don't want to go Weezing. Weezing is just... Just a good time. It really is. Just a good time. So, you know, I'm going to go Weezing. And I'm going to end up going Arch on here. I like Arch Ludon. And then we'll bring Cramorant and Annihilate. You know what? No Toad Scroll here. No Toad Scroll. I'm down with it. Annihilate is just so good. It's just so good in, in all different situations. It's just bulky. It hits hard. It can regenerate each few drain punch. It has Rage Fist, which is one of the best signature moves in the game. Its typing is phenomenal. Give it leftovers like we do have. Amazing. Great ability. You can't go wrong with Annihilate. Cannot go wrong with Annihilate. So we're sitting one on one. Cramorant killed it in last match. Same thing with Toad's Rule. Glad we got to showcase those guys. And they're going to end up leading Kilowatchel alongside with Armors, which is, I mean, okay. It's not terrible. Um, you could be competitive. You could be Volt Absorb. I don't think you would learn Lightning Rod, though. Actually, we don't have to worry about it. There's no abilities. There is zero abilities. I could Terrestrialize Water, which I'm kind of leaning towards here. And I'm thinking of just launching, like, a Sludge Bomb at him. Yeah, we're going to launch Sludge Bomb over here. And then I'm just going to boost my special attack. With Electro Shot. Let's do it. So... That's a little terror on our end. I just don't want Weezing to die out to us. I can move this early here. He can easily drop Expanded Force. He can easily swap into Indeed here. You can easily do that. And then we can have a big problem on our hands. So, actually, no, we wouldn't because you don't get that terrain. I love neutralizing gas. It just helps out so much. We'll see an early terror from them. We're going to also early Terrestrialize. And what are they cooking up with? Armored Grass, maybe? Man, I hate this game. Man, I hate this game. Armor's Grass. Why not? I can Sludge Bomb that later, which is really good news. Sludge Bomb will probably KO if we don't lose our Weezing rather soon. I should just Sludge Bomb that slot. I really should have. We're going straight water. We're getting straight water with it. Problem is, like, Kill Watcher could do mean damage to us. You turn, he's pivoting anyway. And, oh, when he's pivoting, you. What are you going to go into? Indeedy here? Is that the play? Indeedy swap? You don't have weak armor, so you're still just as slow as ever. But you you are looking to deal some big time damage. That's that's our one issue here. That's our one issue. Luckily, no abilities. 
You go into Indeedee, no Psychic Surge, which is what you're doing. Not allowed to have that. And Thunderbolt. I thought I used Electro Shot. I could have sworn I used Electro Shot. That was a waste of a turn. I thought I used Electro Shot. Now it's Scorching Sand, and now I'm dead. I couldn't even get off an Electro Shot. I would have did respectable damage. All right, whatever. Misclick on my end. Thunderbolt, really. Sludge Bomb flies in that slot, does great damage. That's the definition of good damage. Um, I could go into Cramo. Just start chipping. Thing is, they're going to want to go for follow me, which is the big problem. And honestly, I don't mind that. You go for follow me, I go for sludge bomb. I KO whichever Pokemon I pick, or whichever Pokemon I hit, and I set up a Tailwind. I'm about it. I'm about it. So about it. Hopefully they don't go for follow me. Yeah, respect. Respect there. <laughs> So follow me comes out here. We're gonna be able to drop a nice little tailwind with Cramorant. And Weezy's gonna come across here and say bye bye to Indeedy, but chances are they say bye bye to my my what's called my Weezing. Hopefully Weezy gets off one more turn. That'd be huge. You got energy ball. Yeah, bye bye Weezing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. All right, so tailwind's up. I mean, we're not sitting in a terrible position. They still have Kill Watcher. We got tailwind. We have our Annihilate Poo. Really good Pokemon. We got Air Slash ready to roll with Cramo. That's good news. Which I think should be able to KO. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. I think I'm playing around. Annihilate on the field. Annihilate on the field. And Kilowatch is going to fly. So Kilowatch, I still Sash, which is really good news. This is just lovely news. And probably your best bet would just be to Rage Fist you down. Just to, just to chip up some damage right now and then go for an Air Slash. He could end up going for a Tailwind of his own. That's exactly what he's doing. Smart plays. Real smart plays. And Air Slash can get blocked. Just smart play. But again, we still have Focus Ash, which is great news. And my Pokemon should be faster than theirs. Well, not their Kilowatchel. Rage Fist almost doing half. And there's their Tailwind. So we should have one turn left in Tailwind. They might end up hard swapping here. They don't know I have Focus Ash. I'm just going to Rage Fist this slot again and... What other Pokemon could you possibly have? It'll be Ursaluna. I'm thinking it's Charizard. I'm really thinking it's Charizard. I'm still going to Air Slash this slot. I'm still Air Slashing this slot. He could U-turn into his, uh, his Pokemon. No, he's going to go for an Air Slash into mine. That works out fine because I get that Rage Fist boost now. Air Slash KOs. And can Rage Fist KO now. Woo! We need it! Come on, Rage Fist. You got that boost. You took a hit. You took a hit. You're now boosted. Bruh. Nah. Nah. It's no. 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 Come on with that. No. A flinch? A flinch. And now my Tailwind ends. No, I got one turn left Tailwind. But they're probably faster. Let's be honest here. No, dude, Rage Fist, I think, was KOing. I think Rage Fist was KOing. I'm protecting going for a Surf here. Try to get it. We gotta try something here. He ends up protecting Charizard. Okay, go for Air Slash into Annihilate here. Go for Air Slash into Annihilate. We really need it. We really need it. Electro Web. Mm. Alright, luckily, I'm gonna get some HD back there, but I'm going down to Sash, aren't I? Eh, not Sash, but another Electro Web KOs me. Surf's gonna fly. Oh, man. Really flinching there. How much damage are we doing here? That hurts, man. I got Pikachu in the mouth, though. <laughs> I got Pikachu chilling here. Tailwind's gone. I mean, they're just gonna air slash me. I don't have Terra. I mean, if I can go for Rage Fist, that'd be nice. And I'll try to go for a Surf. <laughs> I'll try, but they're going to go for E-Web and then just Charizard Heat Wave, probably, or some sort of fire move. Just to say night-night. Man, I hate this game. Man, I hate this game. Yeah, dude, if we don't flinch, we actually... I think we win this game if we don't flinch. I think if we don't flinch, yeah, we just win this game. I wish the uh, Gulp Missile still worked even when he died. Oh, yeah, it does. Hold up. How are you? Give me a chance. Give me a chance. 
I actually soak up the Charizard shot, but I don't think we are. Gold Missile for the KO. Dragon Pulse. Uh, we should soak, actually. We win. Oh my god, I was complaining for nothing. I was complaining for nothing. Why would you go for Rage or Dragon Pulse there? Fire move wins the game. Fire move wins the game. Maybe you just weren't confident in your accuracy. Thanks for playing. We'll take that win all day. I told you guys, Cramorant is a GOAT. It's an absolute GOAT. It was dying, it was dead, no HP left, spit its Gulp Missile out of its mouth, which was Pikachu, we got lucky on the RNG there, KO'd the Kilowatchel, and then allowed Annihilate to pick up the final KO. If, if Kilowatchel was on the field, we'd lose that all day long, but from the death, from the grave, Cramorant shoots out a Gulp Missile and pretty much wins us the match. Absolutely love this team today. Used all the Pokemon besides Mousehold, but you guys know exactly what Mousehold do does. Toad Scroll, a lot of fun with the Life Orb, doing big time damage. Being able to Spore, Choice Specs, Weezing doing work, and then you got the Arch Loot on Cramorant. Awesome Pokemon all around. Absolutely love this team, and we grabbed ourselves a 2-1 winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.